Ladies and gentlemen, dames y caballeros, every time I get paid once a month, or as we say in Spanish, una vez cada mes, I sit down and I spend about an hour working on something I call my payday routine, which is basically a checklist of nine things I do every time I get paid. And although it takes me an hour to do, taking one hour out of each month to work on my payday routine allows me to stay on top of my finances, make sure I'm not falling behind financially, and see if I'm on track to reach my financial goals. A payday routine is crucial to a good financial life, and so in this video, I wanna share my payday routine of the nine things that I do every time I get paid. And I think that if you follow the steps mentioned in my payday routine, it will help you in your own financial life. And so the first thing that I do when I get paid is track all my spending. Now, this first step is the most laborious step, but this is the most powerful thing you can do financially. At the beginning of each month, I will open up this blank spreadsheet and record every single purchase I made the previous month. And although this takes time, knowing where every dollar you spend is going is the key to getting and staying in a good financial situation. So for example, we just entered May and I recently tracked my April spending. And on this sheet, I can see the total of what I'm spending, a breakdown of where my money is going and what type of spending it is. Tracking all your expenses is the cornerstone to being in a good financial situation. And to get a free copy of this spreadsheet, as well as a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use a spreadsheet, I made a video right here, which is linked in the description. But once I track all my expenses throughout the month, the second thing I do is analyze my spending. So after I complete this spreadsheet and track all my expenses, I then take 10 or 20 minutes to analyze my spending. And as I said, I go in greater detail in this video, but I mainly look at three things. The first thing is my income versus spending. Basically, I just make sure that I'm not spending more than I'm making. So on the spreadsheet here, my after-tax income was $5,000 and my spending was $3,827. So last month, I spent less than I earned, which is what you want. Now, the second thing I look at is any abnormalities in my budget. Was there any abnormal spending that happened in my budget and was it intentional? So when we look at the spreadsheet, in this chart, I can see that I spent $745 on travel. Last month I traveled a bit. I'm just embracing the life of a full-time YouTuber. I went to a mountain cabin for a weekend in Costa Rica for about nine days. Hence, the mustache. Fun fact, every single time I have appeared on camera with a mustache, I always get a few hateful comments in the comment section. I just can't focus on what you're saying while you have that thing on your face. Shave it off or I'm unsubscribing. That's what these people are saying to me, ladies and gentlemen. It is crazy. But was this intentional spending? Yes. And did it hurt my budget? No. Now, the third thing I look at is if I'm overspending anywhere. Was I spending carelessly in my budget? For example, if I look at this chart, last month I spent $209 on eating out which isn't crazy, but it's probably more than I should. So next month, I'm just gonna be a little bit more careful in that category. But every single month, I just spend 10 to 20 minutes to analyze this spreadsheet, which one, allows me to see the full picture of my finances, and two, holds myself accountable with my spending. And after I analyze my spending, the third thing I do is max out the 401k match. All right, so after you track and analyze your spending, the next step that you should take whenever you get paid, or better yet, before you get paid, is max out your 401k match. For example, if your employer matches up to 5% of your salary, then you should contribute 5% to your 401k. And you should do this because this is basically free money from your employer. Because for example, if you make $50,000 a year, that's an extra $2,500 from your employer. 
Everybody likes free money, even the people who hate a mama stash. But if your employer offers a 401k match, you should consider contributing the maximum amount in order to receive the match, which as I said, happens before you get paid. But once you do get paid, the next thing on my payday routine is contribute to a Roth IRA. Now, depending on your situation, you might not want to do this directly after, but in my own situation, I am self-employed, and so I do not have a 401k match. So in my own payday routine, the second the money hits my account, the first thing I do is put a specific amount of money in my Roth IRA account. And if you don't know, a Roth IRA is basically a tax advantage retirement account for Americans. And since I am self-employed, this is an early step on my payday routine. But regardless of whatever employment status you have, everyone should consider contributing to their Roth IRA because there are so many tax advantages to this account, ideally maxing it out every single year. Now, my fifth step is contribute to my emergency fund. Now, a huge mistake that people will make when it comes to budgeting is that first they pay their bills and second they save the remainder. However, this practice often ends up making people not save anything at all. And so a better practice is to do the opposite and first save or pay yourself first and then pay your bills. Saving money or paying yourself first allows you to consistently save and stay on top of your financial goals. And in my own payday routine, once my paycheck hits my checking account, the next thing I'll do is I'll move a certain amount into my savings or emergency fund that I have if surprise expense comes up or I make less money than normal. In doing this before I pay my bills allows me to not forget to save money and maximize my savings rate. Now the sixth thing I do is pay my monthly bills. So as I said, when my paycheck hits my checking account, I immediately one, contribute to tax advantage retirement accounts and two, contribute to my emergency fund. And after I do these two things, the next thing I do is I pay all my bills in one sitting. And my monthly bills probably look a little different from yours, but first I always pay my rent. Then I pay my full credit card balance. Then I pay my utilities and then other recurring bills like insurance. Well, I don't actually always pay each and every bill because most of them are set up on auto pay, but I at least go through each and every bill and make sure that the payment has processed. Because every now and then, a payment doesn't process. It's always my dental insurance. I don't know why. But when I take the time to pay all my bills or go through all of my bills in one sitting, I only need to think about my bills once a month and I never miss a payment. Now, the seventh thing I do whenever I get paid is make extra payments towards high interest debt. So if you watch my channel, we have covered a variety of financial topics, but one topic I have never spoken about is debt. And the reason is because I have never had debt and I don't have any firsthand experience paying off debt. However, if you do have debt, another thing that you should put in your payday routine after you contribute to your tax advantage accounts, your emergency fund and pay your monthly bills, if you have any money left over, you should try to put extra money towards your debt. Even before investing, Paying off debt should be one of your biggest priorities because the interest you're paying in debt is going to be more than any interest that you're going to get in the stock market. For example, a credit card might have an interest rate of 24.99%, whereas the stock market has an average return of 10%. So if you do have money left over, it's good to put some extra money to pay off that high interest debt so you can avoid having to spend too much money on accumulating interest. Now the eighth thing I do whenever I get paid is invest with a brokerage account. Now, if you have an emergency fund of six to 12 months of living expenses, you should probably stop contributing to it. 
And the reason for this is because savings accounts usually have extremely low interest rates. And because of inflation, your money will lose value each year. And instead, you should consider putting money in a brokerage account, which is basically an investment account. And if you invest in index funds, you'll get an average yearly return of 10% which is a much bigger return than putting your money in a savings account. So choosing to invest in a brokerage account, normally in low cost index funds, one, allows you to fight inflation, and two, grows your money at a quicker pace. And so if you have an emergency fund of six to 12 months and have paid off all your high interest debt, the next thing is just consider investing money in a brokerage account to get a much bigger return. Now, the final thing that I do on my payday routine is just look at the big picture. Now, if you watch my channel, you know that this is my full-time job. I am a YouTuber. And I'll be honest, these last nine months, I have been making pretty good money, more than I have ever made in my life. I'm no Graham Stephan or Ali Abdal, but I'm doing pretty good. However, although I have been making good money, the uncertainty of this career path brings me a lot of stress. However, one thing that has taken away a lot of this stress and the final thing I do whenever I get paid is just to zoom out and look at the big picture of my personal finances. Personally, I know that I am making more than I'm spending. Last year, I maxed out my Roth IRA. My emergency fund increased by 50% this past year, and my net worth has increased by 30% this past year. And regardless of how uncertain my life is, whenever I know these things, I feel better. I'm comfortable because I can see the big picture of my finances. And when it comes to personal finances, we often don't give ourselves credit of how far we've come. And I think before you close your laptop, just to zoom out and look at the big picture, not compare yourself to other people. And those are the nine things that I do whenever I get paid. And with that, muchas gracias, que tenga un buen día, no vemos chica pura vida. Whew.